Hey, I'm John DeLuz and welcome to CDRS. Today, we're gonna to be doing engine conversion on this old Bedford. I think you're gonna enjoy this. Let's go for a walk around it. So what we've got here is a TK Bedford. Let's take a quick look around. So these are kind of old sweetheart kind of trucks, you know, we've got to look after them. They are from a bygone era of, you know, mid to, so we're saying late fifties to late sixties. So this is a, is a TK Bedford. It's got the 300 cubic inch petrol motor in it, which is loosely based on a Blue Flame 6. 300 cubes of petrol goodness there, so that's fine. Let's just take a look inside. Nice doors. And the dash. Yeah. Yeah, get some footage on this. Oof. Looks like some 49,000 original kilometers. Okay, this is only on 50,000 Ks. Yeah, hadn't done much. No, no, it's a shame. I mean, that's how I see it. Whoops, sneak peek. You know, it's not too bad, like, in terms of how the body goes, a little bit of rust through there. Decent enough seats. You know, it's fit for purpose. So, what I'm thinking, and by the way, this is the old boys project, not mine, or else I'd take a different approach to it. So I'm thinking he's marked this chassis out as we walk around it. I'm thinking, cut the chassis through there, put a meter into it. That way we can cut it behind that weld there. And I want to put a little bit more, uh, like an incline on it and turn this into a banana back, like a ramp truck for tying the cars. And as you can see, trouble with these sort of trucks is um, they don't the cab doesn't tilt on them so it's either a cab off or we just backload it we just undo the cross brace and we drag it out backwards so yeah that's no dramas so I'm thinking as we have a look in here tail shafts off that was a simple one air reservoir he's chopped that so obviously I don't know what he's gonna do with these air brakes but hey, we'll, we'll sort that out I'll get in there I'll undo those hoses cross brace, hang it up, I'll bring a forklift over and I'll... All right, so here's the plan of attack. I'm gonna get rid of this air reservoir. I'm gonna cut these rivets off, remove that cross brace. This is like a strengthening brace. Can't remove that yet, but I'm thinking, we'll jump in under here, remove this air box, air cleaner housing, hose, carb, and we've got some miscellaneous hoses up the front there. We've got the air compressor tucked in under there. So that's a lot of um, piping through there. Might just chop that because um, at the end of the day, we want, we want to make this chassis like clean. Anything that's redundant under here, just bin it. I do want to save this engine because the old boy's got a, a 54, it's got a 54 Chevy Ute and that would be ideal. It's similar. We can pinch a lot of parts off that to go into his Ute anyway, so. Um, as for this gearbox, that's done, he must have got to that already. So, as for these brakes, dash layout, shifter, I want to try and, like I said, I want to try and keep a lot of that gearbox and components, because if this does go automatic, I don't know, um, okay, jump in under there and um, let's get stuck into it. Let's go for a walk. I've got to find something to lay on. There is a bit of carpet there, but um, da -da -da. <laughs> hey, where'd that sign come from? Any sharpies on it? Yeah, fuck yeah, that's gonna do it. All roads to recovery, especially when you're out of Bedford. Before you all panic, I'm stopping this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the grinder. I'm gonna cut through 
those straps. So I think we're gonna go for a modern day braking system. Get rid of the air reservoirs, chop that exhaust, grind these rivets so I can knock this brace out, and then we're gonna work forward. It's the best way. To Okay, so this is where we're at. You've seen me chop a lot of shit out of here, but whew, get in here, chop the exhaust, all the auxiliary sort of bits and pieces of that were hanging on the side of this motor. Disconnected the compressor lines, undone these bolts at the top cross member. So we're just down to the hoses and that front K frame uh, support there. So I'm hoping that the two bolts underneath on the engine mount directly underneath that front wishbone, which is down there. And then um, we're gonna yank this thing out. So yeah, we're almost there. And an hour's worth of work. So as soon as you've got, as soon as you've got given the green light to put a grinder through it, it makes it a lot easier, I'll tell you right now. So still gotta save a few things, but just keep on pushing. All right, get this air filled up now, up under here. for us later on probably okay get you in there Old Bedford. She's getting there, that's the main thing. All right, let's get under here. Those are the bolts I was talking about. Excellent. So, she's got this bolt to go, plus the other two. And we're just about done. So, we're going to rip this engine out. So everything's been undone. So now this is the fun part of the project where we get to lift that out. All right, we're 
right, so we're just moving it, so we're about to rip the motor out. So we'll see how this goes. Here come. Up on the wire, just up a bit. Just go, just go up and touch. Up, up, up. You're going up. Can you tilt the mask back, tilt it back? Yeah, keep going, that's it, that's it, keep going. Yeah, down on the wire. Yeah, bring it in. Down a touch, fingers. Straight. Fingers going up. You can see now that, um, yeah, that engine's out, so. Yeah, it's a shame, like, just to see that big hulk of steel just, um, a big chunk of steel got ripped out. But, anyway, so that's where we're at. That motor's out. I've just tidied this work area. You know, I've tidied the work area, swept it. We've got rid of all the redundant stuff up through the middle of it. And, um, you know, it's, it's not looking too bad now. It's been about, sorry, actually, we're going about two and a half hours, actually, because the old boy was here and all the rest of it. But, so... This is done. So we'll go for a walk and I'm going to show you the crazy idea. The old boy's thinking. You know, that's a sandblasting bay. That front end loader is a future project. Going to have to get that running. It's got a flat tire, then we can actually move it out of there. I don't think you can see that. But just a big old girl. This sweetheart, we have to get running. There's also back to this tub. Now what the old boy wants to do is drop this tub on that Bedford chassis. I know that's, it's nuts, but um, you know, in hindsight, it's his project. That's what he wants to do with it. So he's measured the center line. We know roughly that's up against the cab. So we've got enough distance between that wheel, the front leaf spring hanger, and um, should be all right. Small dent there, we can knock that out. That's a piece of pierce, not too fussed about that. But overall, he wants to make a short bed kind of step side ish pickup. So, watch this space for part two. Nice. All right, so it's been another day, and let me show you what the old boy's been up to. A quick walk around. We know we're doing the TK Bedford sort of conversion. So, he's been kind of busy the last couple of days, the old boy. And this is where we're at. So he's done a nice little chop here. He's whacked about two, almost two meters out of the chassis here. So we'll walk around this side, you can see it's, you know, almost in proportions. So I think the idea is now we're gonna, uh, we'll have to skin it on the inside, grind those welds, Take these sections out and just put a skin in there. You can see there's a gap in there. At the end of the day, this ain't load bearing. It's just one of those sort of trucks where um, more show than go. But I think at this stage, I'm almost leaning towards, um, you know, to make it simple, possibly a 253 sort of trimatic conversion, just dump it in there. A lot of people would be saying, why didn't you just go with the, um, the 300 cubic inch petrol that was in there but you know what when you build stuff like this it kind of has to stand out so um ideally just to grab that attention i personally like the 6bt allison conversion with a big twin stack so it blows a lot of smoke something along the lines of the old band-aid bullet but um where he is up to and it's you know it's awesome to see like when you're um your old boy is doing stuff like this because uh it never stops moving Never ceases to amaze me either. You know, in the world of doing this sort of stuff, it's um, mate, a rat rod, cut and shut, so it's channeled, whatever you want to call it, hey, he's doing it. So um, let's just walk around this side again, and you can just, um, just pan out a little bit. 
little stubby TK Bedford. This is gonna look amazing once it's done, LB. There's a vision behind it, and um, like I said, just hang tight and you're gonna see it shortly. All right, that's enough for today. So, as always, stay healthy, keep moving, please subscribe. I'll see you all later. See you guys.